Anyone who's worked with transformers know that you can't use just any transformer for any application. Every project has unique requirements, and these inform the design of the transformer you need. So today we're talking about how to pick the right transformer. We're specifically talking about dry types below 1,000 volts. There are three simple steps to getting the right transformer. Determine whether you need single phase or three phase, determine your input and output voltages, and calculate your KVA. First, find out what kind of power your utility supplies to your building. It'll be either single phase or three phase power. The simplest option is to buy a transformer with a phase type that matches the power you have at the panel. If you are working with single phase power, order a single phase transformer. If you're working with three phase power, order a three phase transformer. But what if you need a different phase type than you have at the panel? There are a few options. If your utility supplies three-phase power, but you need single-phase, you could do one of two things. First, you can use a three-phase transformer. Any transformer can take three-phase power and convert it to single-phase for smaller applications. For example, let's say you have 480 volts three-phase and you need 120 volts single-phase. You can use a three-phase transformer with a 480-volt primary and a 208Y120 secondary and then split the secondary into three separate circuits, pulling one hot wire and one neutral wire per circuit. This is a great way to get a lot of 120 volt capacity from one three-phase source. That's what you do if you need three separate circuits of 120. The other option would be to use a single phase transformer with your three-phase system. With that same three-phase panel, you can use a single phase transformer with a 480 volt primary and a 120 slash 240 volt secondary. But instead of hooking up all three phases, you'd simply connect just two of the hot legs from the 480 volt panel. That will power the single phase transformer and give you single phase 120, 240. So that's how you get single phase power from a three phase system. Unfortunately, it doesn't work the same way in the opposite direction. Transformers cannot take single phase power and convert it to three phase. If you've got single phase in your building, but you need three phase, you've got two options. You can either call your utility and upgrade to a three-phase service, or you can install a phase converter. Our friends over at North American Phase Converter can help with any single to three-phase conversions you might have. Next, determine your input and your output voltages. The input voltage, or primary voltage, is the voltage that needs to be changed. The main distribution panel on your building should have this voltage clearly labeled. If you're not sure about the input voltage, call your utility provider. If you live in the US, it's probably 480, 240, 208, or 120 slash 240. Your output voltage, or secondary voltage, is the voltage provided by the transformer. If you're using a transformer to power a specific piece of equipment, check the label on the equipment to find out its operating voltage. The last step is to calculate the KVA rating. KVA is short for kilovolt amperes. This is a power rating based on the transformer's load amperage, and it's the standard way to size a transformer. It's the transformer equivalent to horsepower in a car engine. To calculate three-phase KVA, the formula is voltage times amperage times 1.732 divided by 1,000. For single-phase KVA, the formula is simply voltage times amperage divided by 1,000. If you don't want to bother with these formulas, visit our website and use our free KVA transformer calculator. We'll put the link in the description. For motor applications, we also have a nifty calculator that converts kilowatt to KVA. It's important to size your transformer's KVA correctly. You don't want it to be too large because that means you've overpaid for something you don't need and the transformer will not be running at peak efficiency. And you definitely don't want it to be too small since this can lead to overloading and damaging the transformer. You wanna size your transformer so that it's typically running somewhere between 50 and 80% of total capacity. KVA is always calculated based on the load, but it's also important to make sure that the main panel has enough capacity to support that load. The amperage at the primary and secondary voltage is typically listed on the nameplate of the transformer, and in this example, the max amperage draw at 480 is about 90 volts, so you need to make sure that your 480 volt panel has at least 90 amps available. There are a few outliers you should know about. If you're powering a Bitcoin mine, solar array, or some other unique application, your transformer will need some particular specs. So check out our website for more information on sizing transformers for those applications. Okay, let's put all these steps together in one example. Let's say you've got a machine that needs three-phase power. First, confirm with your utility that the building has three-phase power. 
This building does, so we can just get a three-phase transformer. Next, check the voltage of your input power on your building's main distribution panel. This is a pretty standard industrial building in the US, so it has a three-phase power system at 480. Next, check your machine's voltage. This one requires 240 volt at 150 amps. If we plug these values into our online KVA calculator, we'll see that the machine will need a 62.35 KVA transformer. Now you don't want to run your transformer at 100% load all the time, so make sure to round that KVA up. It should be able to handle about 120% of your expected load. So this machine needs a 75 KVA transformer. That's it. This machine needs a 75 KVA transformer with a 480 volt input voltage and a 240 volt output voltage. Once you've got all this information, head over to our web store to find the exact unit you need. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future tech tips like this.